Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. We are in war once again. Hopefully we are able to get the recording done. Take three. Take three? Take four? Four maybe? I don't know. Um, these guys have pretty generic bases. A uh, bit of a strange start time. We were searching for quite some time a few evenings ago and then yesterday morning I started it off and we managed to find these folks. Um, so it seems to be a pretty standard base. As such, I believe, taking a look here. Yeah, we are going to be popping in right there with a drop. Uh, we are going to go with a, I think a sabotage right there. And my second sab, I think, is likely to be right in there. And then the rally, of course, will be likely right in here. Rally. Uh, four. And potentially if that runs out, we do have a Blitzkrieg that we can use. Probably somewhere around there. Blitz. And that's what we're going to do. And we're probably just going to keep driving right through the middle after that Sab's done. Uh, the reason that this is my rally point puts me in range of that one. Let's just get rid of that. So if I rally underneath these buildings here, I can hit that mortar, that mortar, the castle, and the town center. So, that's where that's at. Let's see how we can get on. I believe I've got all my troops ready, and we are primed and set to go. Hooray! Let's just train up a few generals here. I've got my Joan level 16, and we'll go with my Napoleon for a little bit of range. And I, did I see that correctly? I'm missing like one little shock infantry. <laughs> All right, a little bit back to normal, I would say. Three triplanes, four shock infantry, 34 machine gunners, submachine gunners, uh, one Hellenic tank, uh, three supply trucks, seven howitzers, and two machine guns. My mercs, I'm going with Tom the Brother Hesian, and my two flaming pantsers. We've got uh, khakis and dress pants, because it's formal Tuesday. Uh, tactics, I've got my Blitzkrieg, two sab, uh, one protect, two betrayal, and one decoy. We'll see how we want to throw that decoy down. I'm still kind of playing around with it. My research for that just finished this morning, so I got an extra 20% health. Uh, generals, I've got, like I said, Joan and Napoleon, the husband-wife couple. Alliance troops, I have got one, it looks like a heavy machine gunner, uh, two little King's Royal Riflemen, and two extra howitzers. So, without further ado, let's get it on. Go something like that. Your girl's awake, you know that. Uh, she's not crying, but she's awake. She's chitter chattering. Why do my troops not want to go down? No! I think I just attacked that wall. Let's see. 
That certainly wasn't according to plan, now was it? But I do think that we can... Make it all the way through. And... Where are we at here? We'll drop you there. And you there. Maybe we'll even get some plans in there at some point. Maybe we'll protect you guys. Just so that we can say that we used everything. I have heard of a lot of people having difficulties with the drops. It's very going to get you done. I am as soon as I'm done my attack here and oh. whatnot. Please? Oh, there's the traps. He probably assumed that somebody was going to go through that way, but we decided we weren't going to. Doo -doo -doo. And there's no resistance on this base either. And there we have it. That's a little 167 Global. Minimal losses despite having that drop really not go well. And my rally. I find that if your drop goes wrong, then everything else just happens to follow. And there it is. All right. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.